In this video, I want to provide a quick overview of the settings tab and explain some of the settings you may want to modify to ensure you're optimally set up for your restaurant's needs. I'm going to select the settings tab on the left hand side of the navigation bar and then we're going through some of the key important settings to consider. The default settings are set up quite well, but you may want to make a few small tweaks before going live. We're going to start at the top with the company settings. This is where you can fill out all your business's information such as the company name, the address, the phone number, tax registration information if needed, time zone, and also most importantly, the opening time. Keep in mind that the opening time is not the time that your business opens, but the time in which your day report resets automatically. For example, my bar restaurant is open until 2 a.m. So I set my open time to 4 a.m. So my report will automatically reset at 4 a.m. after doing my cash out at the end of the night. This being said, it's best to set the opening time to a few hours after you close or a few hours before you open. Under report settings, I can determine which information appears or is hidden from my reports. Also, all of these settings are retroactive, which means if you have any setting turned off, such as show floor revenue, and you wish to pull up an old report with this information, you can simply turn on the setting, reprint the report, and you'll have this information you were missing before on the newly printed report. Under print settings, you can determine the functionality of the restaurant POS when printing receipts, bar or kitchen tickets by adjusting the settings to your desired workflow. Under app settings, you can adjust the settings related to the restaurant POS and workflows in general. Under notification settings, you can set up an email address or mailing list to automatically receive your day report from the day prior after it resets. While you're most likely going to be printing off a day report at the end of the day or shift straight from the POS, it may be useful to automatically send a day report to yourself or perhaps an accountant using the notification settings here. Now that you have a better understanding of all the general settings in the restaurant manager, you can go ahead and modify these settings to match the workflow and demands of your restaurant. Again, while the default settings are optimally set up for most restaurants in general, I suggest taking a quick scan through your settings and adjusting them to your desired workflow before or after you go live if you notice any changes you need to make.